Derek Sloan here alongside Kefan Looney. Derek Sloan here alongside Kendrick Perry, live here coming off of a victory over UIC. Derek Sloan here alongside Etwan Moore, live here from his basketball camp. Hi everybody, I'm Derek Sloan here alongside the professor. Derek Sloan here alongside Levante Doherty. And alongside Brandon Marshall, live here from the Bears training camp. Everybody to another edition of the Coach Ensley Mitchell Show. I'm your host, Derek Sloan. Coach, how are you? Another tough loss, but the final exhibition game, and obviously it seemed like those guys got a little bit better, it seemed like they're more you know, chemistry-wise and, and some of the post play we'll talk a little bit about later. Mm -hmm. But just what you see out of that game that can lead you to that season opener Wednesday, which we'll touch on. A lot of the nerves, butterflies, and things were clearly gone. First and foremost, Kendrick, 23 points, 7 assists. What was your mentality going into tonight's game, man? Well, whatever it takes. You know, we dropped two uh, to Milwaukee and Green Bay, so we knew that we, it was a do-or-die situation, you know. UIC and us were the only teams in the league without a win, so you know we knew it was one of those uh, one of those real urgent games we had to get. Last year, sixth man of the year, I believe, in the conference. This year, one of the most underrated guards, you could say. Uh, 27 points last week, 33 tonight. Like I said, you play with a chip on your shoulder coming into you know every game. Yeah, you know, I just play to win. Also, you know, yeah, I do play with a chip on my shoulder. You know, I just play to win. This is my determination, and uh, try to lead this team the best way I can. You had an amazing journey to them, yet you literally and figuratively grew into a phenom, grabbing the city of Chicago, grabbing the basketball world. But was there ever a time where you kind of doubted your abilities? And if so, who do you kind of credit for pushing you to move forward? I did. You know, I did doubt uh, my abilities. Um, never thought I'd be where I am today. You know, and going to my senior year, um, summer of my junior year, I, um, I didn't know if I really wanted to continue to pursue basketball. You know, um, you know but my dad, you know, just told him to keep pushing, just um, keep playing, and everything will work out. Right, and then obviously, you know, you guys are ball up, and you were with and one. Can you kind of talk about that transition? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt. So a lot of people don't know. Uh, from 2003 to 2010, and one was bought out like three or four times. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> so uh, even after that first initial buyout, 2006, and we got in the hands of people who weren't really too familiar with basketball and didn't know that the brand was built off streetball. Obviously, a member of the New York Knicks, can you kind of talk about last season and some of your expectations for the following season? I think we had a good year. Uh, it was definitely a failure at the end, though, because we didn't want to settle for anything less than uh, being in the Eastern Conference Finals. With a chip on your shoulder, you know, drafted late in the second round, kind of make you more motivated, kind of hungry to prove everybody wrong. Oh yeah, definitely, it's definitely motivating. You know, being drafted late in the second round, I wish I was drafted earlier. So, you know, when I go play against teams, I'm like, uh, I got to show them that I belong. And last season, you were third in the NFL in receiving yards. Uh, can you talk about what you want to do in order to maintain that consistency throughout the rest of your career? Uh, you know what? Just, just continue to work hard. That's what that's what it uh, boils down to. Um, get smart. You know, you can never uh, get too much film. You can never be um, too involved in the playbook as far as learning it. Like I mentioned, I'm from Chicago, man. Memory from the Chicago Bulls days. What's some of your uh, what's some things you remember from that the seven game series against Boston, or what kind of stands out in your mind? Yeah, I mean that definitely stands out. That was a great series. Um, I had a great time in Chicago. Um, um, it was a lot of fun um, playing with those guys. Uh, the last pick in that draft, you know, was that kind of a chip on your shoulder to fight through adversity to get to this point and be that starting guard? Uh, it was. I mean, I don't really think about it no more, but it is what it is. I mean, I felt very disrespected when I was the last pick, but at the same time, that's been the story of my life. So I, I just use it as motivation and, and try to get better each and every day, knowing that I was the last pick. And teams did pass on me, not once, but maybe twice. At UCLA commit, an ESPN Top 100, a McDonald's All-American nominee, what else motivates you to, you know, to keep playing at this high level, man? Uh, trying to win the state championship. I never won one yet. Uh, never won a city conference title. So I'm looking forward to that. Mr. Basketball, all the things I, I set up my freshman year, I'm still trying to win it. And that's some of your expectations for the remainder of the season? Um, our expectations are the same. Um, we're trying to continue to build uh, habits that will give us an opportunity to win a championship, you know, playing well at home and trying to steal as many road games as possible. There you go. Derek Sloan, Isaiah Thomas, good luck. Thank you. Derek Sloan, Maya Moore, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Exactly. John Solomon's Darius Well, Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in for another episode of the Coach Ensley Mitchell Show. It's Derek Sloan, Anthony Davis, we appreciate it. All right, Derek Sloan, Amon Shumper, we appreciate it. Derek Sploan here alongside Reggie Bullock. Live here from Los Angeles Clippers victory over the uh, Sacramento Kings. Derek Sploan here alongside Derek Carlson. Live here from the victory over the Sacramento Kings. So everybody, I'm Derek Sploan here alongside Joe Kim Noah. 
Darius Bologna alongside Richard Jefferson, live here from the United Center, match between the Utah Jazz and the Chicago Bulls. Hey everybody, I'm Darius Bologna here alongside Brandon Rush, live here from the United Center, match between the Utah Jazz and the Chicago Bulls. Brandon, first and foremost, okay. not a great start to the season so far, but what are some things you feel the team has to do in order to turn that around? I think we got to just pick it up on the defensive end. Uh, we've been struggling on the offensive end a little bit, so we got to find ways to get easy baskets, uh, either uh, a lot of fast break points or just, just uh, execution on offense. The league, you said something in the articles about saying, you know, you didn't want to be just an average Joe. You wanted to be great, and that's what motivated you. And obviously, when healthy, you're one of the best centers in the league. Do you feel like you've reached that plateau yet? Or if not, how far do you believe you still have to go? No, I think that my attitude is I'm never satisfied. I always want to do more. I always want to, uh, and I realize that, you know, this is more than just basketball. Uh, you know, the, the game has given me so much. But at the same time, you know, I realized that uh, I can use the game to, to, to do more powerful things like uh, giving back to kids and uh, a after school programming and, and doing good things like that. So to me, it's always been more than just basketball. First and foremost, Jamal, I know you talked about a little bit about it earlier, but you know how important it was this victory, especially a conference felt. Yeah, it definitely was a, a good win for us. We're in the midst of four and five nights, you know, and playing an afternoon game is a little bit different, you know, but we can we had to adjust and we got the win. Uh, a guy who many people coming into the draft weren't sure on maybe your potential. You proved them all wrong first rounder. How have you been able to just fight through adversity up to this point in the NBA? Just being confident, just trying to be myself. Uh, I know I'm very comfortable at shooting the basketball. Um, just, you know, I'm a defender and, be, and somebody that can help space the floor. So I just try to do that and just be myself. I know who I am, so I don't try to do anything outside those lines. Speaking of Brooklyn, coming back, you used to play for the Nets. Now Jason Kidd's their coach. What was that like, man? I, I saw actually a little bit of the uh, pregame you guys talking about. What's that like to see him being from a player to a, to a coach? Well, you know, I, he's always been a step ahead of the game. That's always been something that, as a player, um, he, he's had that vision. So I'm not surprised that he segued right from coaching or right from playing into coaching. Uh, when he left Dallas and moved, went back to New York, I knew, you know, he, he loves the area. He, he loves, um, you know, the, the, the basketball life that, that New York can, can bring you. And, and he enjoys coaching. He, he, he loves that challenge. And so uh, when that opportunity opened up, I was not surprised at all. What have you been able to learn from a guy like Chris Paul? I know, you, you know, obviously here together in L.A. He's extremely clutch. You know, he's extremely unselfish. Um, I think he's having an MVP type season, rightfully so, and uh, I think we're leaning on his shoulders. So I mean, he's going to take us to where we need to. Tough team this season, but you guys improved a lot. What can you take away from this season and some of your expectations for next season? You know, I think we got. You know, everybody know we got a young team, but we love to play. You know, we love to play. We like to play hard. And don't worry who's the, who's the other team. We go play hard, and we get better from next year. You know, so we we want to stay like that. <laughs> To the next year, we'll see what happens next year. Derek Sloan, Salvador Perez, good luck. Thank, Thank you, Thank you. Jamal Crawford, Derek Sloan. No doubt. Thanks, I, I appreciate it. Derek Sloan, Joe Kim Noah, best of luck this season. We appreciate it. Thank you.